Hey everyone, so this is a requested video. This is my daytime and nighttime skincare routine. And I'm gonna start off with nighttime just because I use a lot more products at night than I do during the day. So the first thing I use at night, only if I'm wearing makeup, is my cleansing milk with carnation rice oil from Mario Badescu. I got this one from Beauty Mark. Yeah, I got this one from Beauty Mark because it was on sale. And it's great for removing makeup. It removes waterproof mascara. It helps me remove my eyelash glue when I wear fake eyelashes. It removes waterproof eyeliner, foundation, everything. So I use about a quarter size amount. I rub it in my skin. I use it to loosen up all the makeup. And once it's all over my face, I use baby wipes to wipe everything off. Um, I used to use a towel, but the towel would get all dirty and stuff. It's kind of gross. And I'm too cheap to buy the MAC makeup wipe, so. These baby wipes are great. They're the Kirkland brand ones. So if it's good for a baby, why can't it be good for my face? I don't know why not. And uh, they're naturally soft, hyperallergenic, with vitamin E, and they're alcohol free. So makeup remover, rub everything in, rub all the dirt off, and I use the baby wipes, wipe it all clean. Then I scrub my face. So depending on what I feel like, I have two scrubs. I have my St. Eyes Fresh, there. <laughs> St. Eyes Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub Gentle for Sensitive Skin. Skin, this one. And then I have my Avene Gentle Purifying Scrub for Sensitive Skin. This one I got for free. I bought something and it came with it. And this one I bought it for about $3.99. It was on sale. So I use both of them. I interchange all the time. I might leave one in the shower, one by the sink, whatever I feel like. But every time I wear makeup, I always scrub my face afterwards. So use a scrub. After I scrub my face, I splash it with some water, then I use a towel and wipe it all clean, and then I pat dry with that same towel. So after I scrub my face, that's when I use toner. At nighttime, I use my Mario Badescu Skin Care Seaweed Cleansing Lotion. I use this one at night because it's a little bit stronger. It has the witch hazel to help close the pores and deep clean, deep clean them. Is that, the, is that what it is? Yeah, so it disinfects dry and scent of skin. Okay, I cannot speak today. So. It disinfects dry and sensitive skin and also the witch hazel, it deep cleans pores of clogging oils and debris. So after wearing makeup, it's always clogged, so I use this at nighttime. And that just gets rid of all the extra dirt that the makeup remover missed, the baby wipe missed, and the scrub mist and the towel mist that I tone. After toner, I always use my control cream. This is the Mario Badescu control cream. I got this in April when I went to New York and I went to the Mario Badescu Spa and I fell in love with this. I mean, I totally fell in love with this. I have really bad skin. I have eczema. I've had eczema since I was little and I've had ex problems with eczema on my face and I use a lot of steroids, a lot of just all these creams that my dermatologist would re recommend for me. And I noticed that my skin would get more thin, and more freckles from the sun. But I started using this and I didn't have to use my medications anymore. I don't know what it is, but it really did control the eczema. And let me just read the back to you. So it's use alone or in addition to a regular moisturizer. The lightweight cream heals and calms blotchy, red, flaky, and problematic skin. And that's what I have. So. I use this day and night and it is so good. You could use it as a moisturizer, but it's too light for that. So I use this first. Then at nighttime I use my, where is it? There it is. I use my Mario Badescu Protein Night Cream. And this is for dry and aging skin. I use it for anti-wrinkling. I don't really have wrinkles, but I wanna prevent them. So I use this and it's very, very moisturizing. One thing I just wanted to say is I am a product junkie. I mean, I buy everything that's out there. If it says it's good, I'll buy it. And I've tried so many products and a lot of them doesn't, a lot of them don't work. So when I find something that I really like, I stick with it. So stuff I really like is the Mario Badescu line. Not all the products, but I do really like the control cream and the toner I use. The night cream, I like it. We'll see if I continue with it. If I find a better night cream, I'll use a better one. But so far, it works, so I'm sticking with it. So that's my nighttime skincare routine. In the morning, I don't use as many things because I already scrub my face a lot at nighttime. So in the morning, all I do is I take a face cloth, wet it with some warm water, wipe my face, 
and then I tone. But during the day, I use a milder toner. I use my aloe vera toner, again from Mario Badescu, and all it is is just aloe vera and water. So it just takes off the sweat. It takes off the sweat and just refreshes my face. After I tone, I use my control cream during the day as well. Yeah. I use the control cream during the day as well. And I use it pretty fast. As you can see, it's almost empty. And it's kind of a blue, a blue consistency, very light. This is my second jar since April, so it's quite costly. It's $22. How many months is that? April, May, June, July, August. So it lasts about two months. I don't know if that's long or not, but it's kind of expensive, but it's totally worth it. And I would repurchase this over and over again. So after I use my control cream during the day, then I put my Skin Nanny on. I love this stuff. I've talked about this in my other videos. It's from Lush. It's handmade in Vancouver where I live. How could I not support it? And I love the fact that at the bottom, they put a picture of the person who made it. And it says it reduces the appearance of wrinkles and look younger naturally. Nutritious ingredients are overflowing in this rich skin softening cream that protects against the effects of the sun. It's it smells amazing. It's super creamy. You only need a pea size amount for your entire face. I wouldn't recommend this lotion for most people because most people don't have severe dry skin as I do. And when I went to the store, the girls told me that most people use this at nighttime because it's super rich. But for me, it's perfect for the day because my skin's that dry. Yeah, love this stuff. And I know it says it protects against the sun, but because it doesn't say SPF anything, I still wear sunscreen. So after this, I go to my go-to sunscreen, which is the Ombrelle, well, sorry, L'Oreal Paris Ombrelle Solar Expertise SPF 60 Kids Sunblock. I'm a strong believer in using sunblock. I don't want to get skin cancer, and I like to stay fair, and I have so many freckles already, I try to use this to prevent it, and it's really nice. It's only use about this much, not much. It's white, but it's nice and creamy and it goes in really fast and my mom uses this as well and she has oily skin and with her she loves using this too because once you rub it in you don't even notice it and it's not greasy or at all but for me it's hydrating for her it's not too greasy and I use this every day wear sunscreen and I use this before my makeup because it provides a great base for instance today all I wore is this then I Use a little bit of concealer and then blush, bronzer, and my eye makeup. This makes you have a flawless face. I don't know how it works, but... Oh, and it's waterproof. And that's it. So that's my daytime skincare routine. I'll list all the products in the bottom bar and the links to whatever. And I just wanted to mention that everybody's skin's different. So use the products that work for you. Don't just buy something because someone else says it's, says it's good. That's what I do. It's not good, but once I find something I like, I stick with it, and I hope you all find your skincare routine that works for you. Don't forget to rate this video, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Everything will be listed in the bottom bar. Take care. Bye.